Welcome back to What's for Dinner with Social Common. Today we have a really special guest. Her name is Leah and she is the founder of Love Child Organics Baby Food. And today she's gonna bring us a really cool recipe that we can not only use for smaller babies but also for our older kids. How to make, what are we making? We are making some pumpkin yogurt superfood muffins and we're gonna make them with some of our Love Child Organics um, purees. So they're healthy. They're extremely healthy, yes. So if we eat the whole pan, it's not <laughs> terrible. It doesn't matter at all, you eat the whole pan. <laughs> so we're gonna start with our first recipe and Leah is gonna go through the ingredients so you know what to buy. Okay, so what you need here is you need a quarter cup of chia um, and a half cup of water. We're gonna mix those together. And now here I have a cup and a half of spelt flour. I have a half cup of oats, four tablespoons of coconut oil, one cup of dates, uh, three pouches of our pumpkin yogurt, and here we have mixed together here we have one teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, um, a pinch of salt, and we also have some cinnamon. And mm. we said pumpkin seeds? These and these pumpkin are seeds are going to go on the top afterwards. We're just oh, going to sprinkle them on the top. Like decoration. Yes. That's where the kids can get involved. Yes. So Leah's going to take us through all the steps because this is a whole new world of cooking for us, you guys. And she says it's really easy. If we can do this, anybody you can, can do, do this. It. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to soak our chia. We want to do that because then the chia will turn into like a gel and we can use it as an egg sub substitute. So chia seeds, um, they uh, substitute eggs because they bind? Yeah, they basically gel up. They they will absorb 10 times the, um, their size in water. And we're not even quite doing that much here. We're just doing a two to one ratio. But this will gel up and be an egg substitute. Nice. And chia is also full of omegas, which we know are really good for our kids' brain health. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to combine all of our dry ingredients together into a bowl, except for the pumpkin seeds. We're going to leave those out for now. Oh, this is dry, right? Yes. Oh, are you for real? Stop it. You knew that. You stop it. Oh, we did teamwork? That was romantic. It's like we got married. Right, so you've okay. got your spelt, your oats, you've got your baking powder, baking soda, and you've got your salt in there too. Of course. Uh, cinnamon. Already pre-measured, just like that. Great, and then uh, we need a spoon to give it a little stir. Don't you worry, mama's got it. <laughs> Step three is we're going to blend all of our wet ingredients in a blender. Vitamix. Yeah, and with the dates as well. Okay. Okay, so just blend that up. We're going to start by putting love children and pouches into the blender. This is easy. I got this. The apple pumpkin raisin cinnamon with yogurt. Yes. And guys, just so you know, my baby lives on these pouches of food. It's so easy and now he can feed. He's eight months and I just hand it to him while I'm taking care of the other three and he feeds himself. Um, I'm going to okay. go ahead and throw yeah, this in. Yeah, your coconut oil. Okay, and then I would suggest probably doing about half the dates first, giving it a blend, and then the other half because oh, they're a little so smart. So a little tricky. Yeah. A little tricky. Yeah, okay. yeah and, and now, now we're gonna, gonna blend. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna go ahead and blend, and then we're gonna add the rest of the dates and the chia. And okay. Blend one more time. Here we go. Step four is we're just gonna combine all the ingredients back together in a bowl. Okay, mix it up. So this step four is combining your wet ingredients with your dry ingredients. That's right. And you're just gonna mix it up until it's just mixed. You don't need to go crazy with muffins and get them too mixed up. Oh. And the thing is, all of these ingredients are now available at your regular grocery store. So I know for I me, it. like I don't even use white flour anymore. I've switched to spelt. Ah! <laughs> but oh okay, just for the people who are anti-spelt, they yeah. could use white they could use, they, could use, they could use white, they could use whole wheat, you can use whatever. You can, you can use whatever. whatever. So it's, like. not, yeah. or it's no. not make or break. No, it's totally not make or break. Okay. And you also, if you wanted to, and you didn't have the chia, you could use two eggs as well. And then we're just going to scoop our batter into our pre-greased muffin tin. Okay, and stick it in the oven for half an hour at 350. Done. And then enjoy. That's my part where I come in. <laughs> Step five is just we've pre greased this mm -hmm. and we're just going to fill these up about two thirds full. And this total recipe will make 12 muffins. Oh, oh right. this, um, and the kids can take this to school for snack, yeah? No, oh, there's seeds. Oh, yeah, there's no seeds. nuts. No nuts. There's no nuts, so it's totally fine for school. What do you think about that? Is that good? Yeah, that's great. I'm just going to put it in the oven for half an hour at 350. These look amazing. You can't imagine how good it smells. We can't wait to taste them. Should we dig in? Let's go. Let's go. Cheers. 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 The recipes will be below as well as their website to find out all more information about Love Child Organics. How are they girls? So delicious. Really good. Here we go.